Welcome to the last lab of the semester. There'll be tissues handed out. There are two types of coastlines. So yeah, what we're doing is we are finishing at the coastline. We follow up salinity with the coastline. First, what's known as an emergent coastline. Emergent coastlines are being lifted out of the water. And the way they're being lifted out of the water is because they are tectonically active. In other words, tectonic activity, which we now know can lift things up, is active along an emergent coastline and it's lifting that coastline out of the water. That constantly presents a new face for the waves to erode and degrade. In the United States, we have both types of coastlines. We have an emerging coastline, and that is on the west coast. Of course, you know this because the west coast is tectonically active. The other type of coastline is called a submergent coastline. Submergent coastlines are being drowned by the sea. Now, this can be for a variety of reasons, not the least of which is that it could be tectonically passive. And because of that, it may very well be subsiding and or sea level, like it is, could be rising. What coastline is the submerging coastline? That would be the east coast of North America. Well, the offshore environment in some ways mirrors these coastlines. Emerging coastlines tend to have very steep offshore environments, whereas submerging coastlines tend to have much flatter offshore environments. You can see in that bottom picture, that's in Maine, and there's huge tidal fluctuation there because it tends to be a flat offshore environment. Let's start by looking at emerging coastlines. Emerging coastlines are dominated by erosional or degradational landforms. That doesn't mean they do not have depositional landforms. It means they tend to be dominated by them. These erosional degradational landforms are very obvious along emerging coastlines. These are the ones I want you to know. Sea stacks, which are small nearshore islands, they indicate where the coastline once was. Sea cliffs, which are steep erosional features that lead down from an elevated tableland to the coastline. Sea arches, which are formed when a cave is cut all the way through a cliff. And marine terraces, which are uplifted cliffs and beaches. You can see how marine terraces would go with emerging coastline because, of course, it's tectonically active and it's being lifted up. Take a look at this diagram, which you may very well see again. A is indicating sea stacks. B is a sea cliff. What do you think C is? C arch, very good. Notice that this is where wave react, wave, I'm sorry, wave refraction is going to occur. You'll see that in another video. And then what is D, this step-like thing coming up out of the water? Those are marine terraces. Take a look here. These are sea stacks. There you go. Small nearshore islands. They indicate where the coastline once was. This is the California coastline because it's an emergent coastline. It's constantly presenting this new face for the waves to chew away at. And so the waves are constantly pushing the coastline back. Meanwhile, the coastline is simultaneously being uplifted. You can see the sea cliffs here with the blue arrow and even a marine terrace over there on the right hand side where the red arrow is at, which means that that area where the red arrow is at used to be at sea level. Now, it's not because the sea level dropped, it's because that landscape was uplifted away from the water. This is a sea arch. You can see that the waves have cut all the way through this protruding headland, this little peninsula. This is common where you have wave refraction, as you're going to see in the next video because the waves can come in from both sides and chew away at that protruding headland and undermine it. And then these are marine terraces. You can see each one of these from left to right, one, two, three, four, five of them. And you can see they come stepwise out of the water. This is at the Palos Verdes Peninsula in California. You can see the way they are uplifted out of the water, emerging coastline, tectonically active.